think it's, uh, I mean, it is a really incredibly important uh, period for karate, isn't it, because of the Olympics. And for athletes to be, to want to be, like yourself, to be in the Olympics is a lifetime dream. Of course. For any athlete. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you're, and you're going to do all you possibly can to achieve that. Yeah, that's right. That's why we, why we are seeing athletes that maybe should be maybe maybe they were thinking about their retirement and they extend their careers a little bit to, to try to achieve this dream and and then you have the young athletes coming so so you have this mixture of experience and, and also the the, the the hunger of the young ones you know is is, is very interesting and, and I think it gives uh, a very good level to the to the karate and and it helps of the development of the sport and we have yet another world champion wearing the red Dorota Banachtik of Poland she's up against Angelika Teriluga of the Ukraine 26 years old Teriluga no world medals at the moment but she has been a European champion only last year she also won a silver and a bronze four times karate one premier league winner but the young 21 year old Banashtik, world champion in madrid oh wow that was a very close run of washi there from terry yoga premier Karate One Premier League grand winner for last year was Sarah Cardin. The referee invokes a passivity warning, Eloise Wiesberg from Austria, chief referee for the European Karate Federation. Mawashi attempt from Eluga. Good counter punch there. As Fanastic went to come in high, Eluga throws in the Chudan Gyakuziki to score her point and take the Senchu. So we have the European champion in Terry Luga up against the current world champion from Poland, who is training. One point to zero. Yeah, Dorota was, was, one, was one of the surprises in the World Championship in Madrid, no? Because uh, being just 21 years old and, and winning a gold medal in a World Championship is, is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> not in the slightest. With only one, one player being able to represent the country. It does bring together the best of the best so Dorota Barashtik receives a warning there is a video challenge from the coach of Angelika Teliuga and there are the four screens that they'll be looking to decide which one to address. There's a contact there but here's the action there's 
nothing to be seen there, I have to say. Oh, it's rejected. Well, I didn't see much at all there. Yeah. There was a punch from both of them, but nothing, nothing that clear, yeah. looked anything like a, a decent score. So we're back into the play. Kalyuga of Ukraine still leading, 1.0. Kalyuga wearing the blue colors. The world champion from Poland, Dorota Baneshti, tries a Chudang Yakazuki. The reverse punch. Then comes over the top. This time she forces Kalyuga off the tatami. So she now has a Keikoku second level, category two warning. Into the last 15 seconds, Ato Shibaraku. Now the world champion has got to go for it. Kalyuga forcing her back though. Oh, Joranora Bawashi, and she has got the flags. Great timing on that front leg, Uramawashi hooking kick. Yeah, so she secured the, the, the advantage with that kick. And she has indeed. And after the kick, she was pushed off the tatami by the world champion. As the clock goes down to zero, we have yet another world champion defeated here in Paris. Yeah. Already yeah. Wow. the first <laughs> the first event of 2019 in this season of seven Karate World Premier Leagues. And the gold medal and the important Olympic qualifi qualification points going to Angelika Teluga of the Ukraine. <laughs> Impressive. Wonderful heel kick at the end of that bout. So now, now we go to the let's see here the, the replay of some of the, the there she tries to push it off comes back with a gakazuki she's gone off the tatami I think this is where the heel kick comes in there yeah. what a brilliant yeah but under the she, punch you know but then just, she was pushed yeah. over that's yeah. why